friends, uh, I'm Adam, pastor at the Harvest Diamond South Campus, and I am excited to be here with you this morning uh, as we begin our 40 days of prayer and fasting. I'm just uh, excited to see what God will do when we seek him uh, with humble and expectant hearts. Uh, the start of the new year also uh, coincides with our new theme for 2022, which the pastors will unveil in the coming weeks, uh, but just a sneak peek. It was, it was stand, um, and it was the logical place to go because uh, we spent an entire year focusing on uh, seek first the kingdom of God and put yourself in the offering plate and, and give all that you are uh, to him. And then we did a question series uh, with the goal of bringing clarity to our minds and our hearts about the things of scripture. And then the fun and tolerance series uh, that we did that just called us uh, to believe in Jesus and to believe um, in scripture and believe uh, everything that the Bible says about him and that we would discard all the thoughts and all the attitudes and the political ideations and whatever were contrary to God's word that we essentially declared uh, with the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 10.5. Let me read it. It says, we demolish arguments and every pretense that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought and make it obedient uh, to Christ. Uh, and that's what we did. And so God having awakened this uh, in us and in his church, what do we do? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to stand. We're going to stand on Christ. We're going to stand on God's word. And we're going to stand on everything that he has revealed and done and will reveal and do in our lives. And we're not going to give an inch. Uh, that's, that's the plan. Uh, and so this is just like uh, the pivotal moment in the Reformation, when the Reformation was still in its infancy and there was this renewed, renewed zeal for God and for his word. And you'll remember that Martin Luther is on trial at the Diet of Worms. He's on trial because he had nailed those 95 theses to the door where he said, look, this world is corrupt uh, and I will not abide uh, perverting the truth, but I will stand on God's word alone and when he was given an opportunity uh, to recant uh, to take back what he said and what he believed he was recorded as saying this he said unless i am convinced by scripture and plain reason my conscience is captive to the word of god i cannot and will not recant anything for to go against conscience is neither right nor safe so here i stand i can do no other so help me god it's awesome um, and, and that, God willing, will be us, uh, that we will do no other. Uh, things in America are rough. Uh, they potentially will get rougher for those of us who have forsaken the world and our pursuit of Jesus Christ in him alone. But we will be people, God's covenant people, who stand on his word and his word alone. So this begins, uh, that was a long to do, uh, but this will begin 40 days of, of prayer and fasting that will include uh, multiple all-campus worship nights uh, that will include a week where we'll pray 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, that will include um, preaching on this, that will include a daily devotion on all of our social media platforms every single day by a different staff member with a, a focus uh, that we can that we can direct our hearts and mind during this time of prayer and fasting. Uh, but the focus for day one is singular, uh, that we commit in our hearts in our minds that we are going to stand, that we are going to stand with Martin Luther and with 10 million saints uh, before us, that we will that we will not recant, that we will not not cede one inch of, of God's word uh, or of faith to this world, uh, because we know that it's neither safe nor profitable uh, to do so. And so whatever may come, uh, let today be the day as we set our minds to begin this prayer uh, time and this fasting before our God. Uh, let today be the day that we declare our, our allegiance on Christ alone, that we will believe scripture, and we will stand on God and on God's word alone. That's the mission. Stand. Uh, please just pray with me. Heavenly Father, God, we are before your throne and it is, it is mighty. God, we are your people and we desire to bring you glory more than anything else. And so, Father, I pray that you hear our hearts as we cry out, help us to stand, Father, in these days. Help us to be a shining light of hope uh, and, and, and a light 
that shines uh, your son, Jesus Christ, in this time. And so we pray, God, that, that your Holy Spirit would equip us uh, with the boldness uh, and the strength that we need to stand in these days, that you would give us victory over, over sins and distractions and lies that would call us to quit our fast or to quit our prayer or to quit our stand. Father, we pray that you would help us to stand as we seek to bring you glory in these days. In Jesus' name, amen.